Well, right now, police are trying to piece together what led to a shooting in Lancaster. Four people are hurt after someone started firing inside the Park City Center Mall. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey is live in the CBS3 News Center for you this morning. Wakisha, this has left a lot of folks shaken up. Yeah, good morning, Jim. So, yesterday's shooting was an absolute nightmare for our Lancaster's mall employees and customers. Now, this happened in broad daylight at a time when most people are enjoying a typical Sunday at the mall. Do me a favor, go down there, we'll get with you. Eyewitness News obtained this video from inside the Park City Mall in Lancaster. Police placing the mall on lockdown after four people were shot inside near the J.C. Penney wing. The video shows paramedics aiding someone on the mall's floor. I heard a series of like small bangs. Just I, I immediately assumed like you know somebody dropped something because I didn't want to like immediately start jumping to conclusions. You don't expect it to happen in your own backyard. Lancaster City Police said there was an altercation between several men. One of them had a handgun. Here's some more video showing a bullet hole inside this window pane. Store employees tell us they rushed into action trying to help customers escape the chaos. I saw people running. I heard people screaming, shut the doors, shut the doors. And immediately from there, I thought, we have to get everyone in the back of the store. Police say four people were treated for gunshot wounds. The injuries were non-life threatening. They believe this was an isolated incident. Now it just feels like I'm not exactly safe, especially in the place that I work. The mall is expected to reopen today. We just checked, and as of now, police have not announced any suspects. We're told they are reviewing more surveillance video, but anyone with any information that could lead to an arrest, you're asked to call police. Reporting from CBS3 News Center, Wakisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Wakisha.